Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be traveling along the Norman Manley Boulevard, otherwise called the Beach Road in the Grill. We are going to start right up at Royalton Hotel and we are going to end our journey at the Negril Bus Park. You are going to notice, you know that Negril was always buzzing, but since Covid, little or no tourists can be seen on the road in Negril. Drive with me. So yesterday we carried a story. This was in relation to the death of three men who were taken out by hoodlums. Dwayne Scott, otherwise called Robbie Sheep, Okeem Bent, otherwise called Red Bull, and Crystal Hudson, popularly known as Enoch. Now, our information is that the men, they went for Robbie Sheep. Robbie Sheep, he was a gunman. He was involved in a lot of shootings. So he was the target of these gunmen. Robbie Sheep, he lived at the house where the men went to. Okim Bent, otherwise called Red Bull, he lived at Burn Savannah in the parish of Westmoreland. So what means that Red Bull, he was doing some tiling work in the area. Night catch up on him. And because of the curfew, the 8 p.m. curfew, he decided on not going on the road because he was afraid of being locked up. So he decided, because he is friends with the family of Robbie Sheep, he decided on staying at the house until the next day. So that is the only reason why Red Bull got caught up in this mayhem. The other guy, Enoch, he was walking on the road. When the gunmen were approaching Robbie Sheep's house, he saw the men, saw that they were armed, and he ran off. So when he ran off, one of the gunmen chased him, shot him. He was taken out on the spot. Persons in the house, they heard the shooting. So Robbie Sheep, he went and hid under a bed. The men, when they were approaching the house, they saw movements in the house and realized that it was a meal no they were expecting the only meal to be in that house to be rubbish sheep the first meal shadow that they saw they went in and took out that person but it was red bull who they first took out they realized that they got the wrong person a female was in the house 18 years old they held her and tell her that she's gonna die if she don't take them to where her brother is because it is more than one house that is in this yard the sister fearing for her life took them to the house that ruby sheep was sleeping in the gunmen went in there and saw another sister 22 years old they asked that sister for ruby sheep she told them that she don't know where he is the men were leaving the house but as they were leaving the house one of the gunmen who had a flashlight he shined the flashlight under a bed under the bed was rubbish sheep without further ado without anything else they opened fire on rubbish sheep so he was taken out under the bed there are some photographs circulating. You will see that is how Robbie Sheep was taken out. So like I said before, their main target was the last person who they took out. Robbie Sheep. Only 20 years old and he was involved in some violent crimes. These gunmen, because Robbie Sheep's mother was there at the house. His 18-year-old sister was at the house. His 22-year-old sister was at the house. This could have easily ended up in six persons being taken out. Because I am sure if these gunmen could be easily identified, 
they were not gonna leave any witness. Think about it for a moment. Anyhow, any of the two daughters or the mother could have easily identified any of these gunmen, they would take out everybody. Families, mothers, daughters, sisters, cousins, brothers, fathers. We need to stop shielding these gunmen in our families. Otherwise, we might end up feeling the wrath of their enemies. Yes, you're watching Popeye News Link. Remember to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned to this channel. And to the next story. This incident, it's at a place named Sherwood Content in the Clarkstone Police Area in the parish of Trelawney. Our information is that on Thursday, the 15th of April 2021, about 2 p.m., residents of Sherwood Content stumbled upon the body of a male. The police were called in, and when they went on the scene, a man he suspected to be in his late 50s, he was seen lying on the ground with what appeared to be sharp wounds to his neck. We are told that his neck was almost taken off of his body. This man, he was seen dressed in a black shirt, yellow short pants, and a black sneakers marked Jordan. And like we told you before, he's believed to be in his late 50s. At the time of doing this video, we hadn't gotten any information regarding his identity. If and when we get that information, we will be updating you in the next video. Now, he was taken to the Falmouth Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E yes, you're watching Popeye News Link. Remember to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned to this channel. Now, in the next story, this one, it happened at a place named Janzal Main Road in the Granville Police Area in the parish of St. James. It happened on Thursday, the 15th of April, 2021, about 5.30 p.m. Our information is that loud explosions were heard in the Janzal Main Road area. As a result, the police were called. On the arrival of the police, a man, he was later identified as Jamie Orlando Ray. He was 35 years old and he lived at a place named Abuka District in the parish of St. Anne. Jamie, he was found slumped over a wall. He had gunshot wounds to his upper body and his left hand. He was transported by the police to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-D. -E Our information is that a number of 9mm spent shells were recovered from this scene. In the final story for today, O'Brien Cunningham, he was 26 years old and he lived at Hudson Street, Savlamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Obi, like he's popularly called, he was a bagger at the Shoppers Fair supermarket and Beckford Plaza in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. He was first employed to the supermarket, but then he got a job at a hotel in Negril. Now, due to the COVID-19 and most of the hotels closing down, he was laid off. As a result, he went back to Shoppers Fair, applied again. The management didn't have any problem in rehiring him because he was a hard worker a very good and humble person so they rehired him as a bagger. O'Brien, like I tell you, his co-workers describe him as a humble person. Someone who I am told that recently 
he was involved in an altercation with another co-worker and all he did was walk away. On Wednesday, the 14th of April 2021, Obi, he left work at the Shoppers Fair supermarket minutes after 7pm. We are told that he was on the plaza with some co-workers because you know sometimes young people leave work, buy two juice, drink, feel nice. We are told that OB was a part of this crowd. He left work and with some other co-workers, they drink two juice and were there laughing and talking. Nothing wrong with that. He left the plaza before the curfew started. No. Obi, he would be celebrating his 27th birthday this Sunday, Sunday the 18th of April 2021, he would be 27 years old. So we are told that he was saying to persons that him start celebrating his birthday early. He went into his community after him leave the plaza, whilst in the community we are told that he was at a shop. Now he live at Hudson Street in Savlamar. Our information is that he was at this shop, like we tell you before, celebrating his birthday from early. Whilst at the shop, it is said that he got into an altercation with two men. We are not sure what caused this altercation, but our information is that about 11 p.m., these two same men were seen pulling him away, hauling him away, dragging him away, whichever one you want to choose. You can just imagine what I'm talking about. That was the last time OB was seen alive. On Thursday, the 15th of April 2021, some family members became concerned. So they went and look for him. Our information is that they went to the same place where the men were seen hauling him away. We are told that some spots were seen on the ground. They followed the trail and there was OB. He was found in an open space off the Hudson Street main road. The police were called and OB, he was seen with what appears to be gunshot wounds to his upper body. He was taken to the Savlamar Hospital where he was officially pronounced DEAD because it is suspected that he has succumbed to these gunshot wounds from the night before. Most likely he was taken out on the spot. So it is suspected that it is these two men who he had the confrontation with and who was seen dragging him away, it is suspected that they are responsible for Obi's demise. The mayhem continues. Blessed love everybody. Yes, you're watching Popeye News Link. Remember to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. Hit the notification bell and stay tuned to this channel.